in some of the most, let's say some of the most successful businesses you've been a part of, what have been some of the, the commonalities of them? Like whether it's the people, the teams, like uh, the, the type of work they did. Yeah. It, it's, it's always great people, obsession with customer experience. And then really critical too, is that you're on an industry that is on the rise. So if you're, you know, it, it's the, uh, what is it? Right. Rising tide raises all boats. That that's a big deal. And I know McKinsey did a study and that was the number one thing that helped businesses that grew the most. It's like, it's not their strategy and they're smart. You know, it's not our strategy, but it's, if you're in an industry that's going up, you got a pretty good chance of going up anyway. And then if you've got good people and customer experience and, and hopefully a good product and offer, that's, that's kind of a hard combination to beat. And, and what about on the other side of that? What about some of like the least successful businesses? Is just, a, is just the opposite of all that? Or have you seen certain behaviors, certain leaders that just tank businesses? I think if you were, I, I mean, I do think it's, it's the counterpart to those things, if not the opposite. It, it, it's definitely, uh, if you're in it for the money, then it doesn't go well uh, because you're thinking about the wrong things. And those things might be short term. It's a short term versus long term, right? If you have, if you're in it for the money, you're going to make short term financial decisions that will ultimately generally cause the business to suffer in the longer term. And um, so that's a big deal. And, and you see it in businesses all the time. And you watch a business that starts out and it's super successful and then they start cutting corners and then the people aren't as good as the people that were there before. And, you know, it's, it's a shame when that happens because that's always going to ultimately have a negative impact on the value of the company and the customer experience. So yeah, I really do believe it is exactly not paying attention to those things that, that causes you the challenge. I mean, there could be, um, the only thing I would say is I have seen, um, I have seen people ignore significant risks that then come, they don't think it's going to happen to them. Like, let's say that you're selling exclusively through one channel like Amazon. And I've watched Amazon just say, yeah, we sell that now through Amazon basics. So now you're competing with Amazon and they have all your data, which I think they say they don't look at, but I don't believe it. Um, that's like, that can kill you. You know, I can totally kill your business. So that's not like you can be the most customer obsessed, best people. We do good in the world. We've got a great offer. The industry's taking off, but other people are watching. And so if you put yourself in harm's way because you're not thinking about very basic, important business concepts, then you can be taken out by that kind of surprise or a regulatory surprise or an innovation surprise. Like I don't like heavily cutting edge tech businesses because there's a very good chance you'll be obsolesced out and you've got to invest so much to stay up. And then all that investment can go away in a minute because a competitor comes out with something that just completely eats your lunch. So those, those things to me would be three things to be very, very aware of as you're, as you're dealing with it. And I, I think, I think there is some threat in the legal world with AI and with blockchain, which I think can eliminate a lot of due diligence and things like that. Um, and, um, and that evolution we talked about with respect to ownership that, that, are definitely things that I would be have my eye over my shoulder on if I was practicing right now. And, and it's fascinating. So when you say threat, which I, I agree with, it, it's it's almost interesting on the other side of that coin with 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 dangers and threats come opportunities. Right? So if you're strategic and you're creative, this presents a lot of like market opportunities where you start to see a lot of players shift in the marketplace. Yes. Yeah. The only thing to be careful about with the opportunity is the uh, is being too soon to move on it. Right. That's, that's the, because everybody is jumping at that opportunity. So you want to be careful to not be one of the, one of the ones that fall out. Cause there's usually only three to five that kind of get through that. Not that there's not a lot to be made in the short term there, but if you're a long-term player, it's like you, you want to be cautiously tiptoeing into that, that opportunity when, when it's a, when it's the opposite side of the threat. 